Alright, it's time for another summons abuse video. I know I've made a lot of these, but summons are just really good in this game. I feel like if you don't have any plan for scaling, you can go summons and win quite a few times. Like, it's not guaranteed, obviously, sniper teams beat them. But as long as you don't run into sniper teams, you're good. And, like, there's not a ton of sniper teams in Arena. It's, uh, somewhat infrequent, but there we go. Alright, so to start this, four crickets with a frilled dragon. So this is gonna get plus four, plus four right away and I'm gonna have a 5-6 on turn 2 which is a little bit absurd. Now that was terrible positioning because I immediately ran into Moss because this is a custom pack. Uh, I just specifically built this pack for summons which means I'm playing against all people with custom packs and that means people are gonna go Moth because Moth is just generally a pretty good unit. But uh, I got a spider pill and got a giraffe out of it this makes it even better just because like you again with the custom packs you can choose all the tier threes you want you can just add in all the good tier threes which means spider pill is even better um the only thing that i was sure was going to stick around well i wasn't even sure if it was going to stick around but the hatching chick so i decided to go ahead and buff that which was kind of a strange decision i usually try to pivot off of feral dragon because its ability you know diminishes later and also usually pivot out of most of the things with faint abilities so yeah, Giraffe is buddy buffing Hatching Chick. Don't see that too often. But who knows, maybe it'll get really massive. Um, so I have three gold left. I, there's not a ton that I was looking for. Mostly just like maybe level three Cricket, maybe Otter, and that's pretty much it. So I just decided to buy Broccoli. I'm not sure why Broccoli's in this pack. I guess just for the health on summons, but maybe I haven't thought all of this stuff completely through. Anyway, a uh, solid draw there, or was that a win? I wasn't paying attention, to be honest. <laughs> okay, Clownfish, that's usually just a great take. I mean, if you can get level ups, your team scales so quickly. Uh, it is obviously going to be dependent on those level ups, but most of the time, like, you can get level twos pretty consistently. So I think it's definitely a, like, A tier unit to have. Since it's a tier three as well, like, the other scalers on tier three are Giraffe, and that's, like, it, right? I mean, Dog, I guess, but... As far as scaling, it's probably the best tier 3. Um, I guess Hatching Chick, if you get it to level 2, is a pretty good scaler. This also means that I have Blobfish, which is why I double pills frozen. That is just extremely helpful. But then I ran into Crow, so I guess uh, goodbye to the pills, because I would like to get either level 2 Clownfish or level 2 Hatching Chick. Honestly, probably either is fine. And then I have enough gold to by the Anteater, which is a pretty good tempo option. Just a whole bunch of extra attack and summons. Let's see, so I run into someone going Sheep at the front, kind of a weird summon build, and then they have a Blowfish at the back with a Kangaroo, but luckily it wasn't too strong. Just ran over their entire team pretty much with the front two units. And now hopefully I find like Hatching Chick or Blobfish. There's Blobfish. Like, I don't know what the actual odds of finding pills are at this point, but they're usually pretty good if you spend, like, a few rolls. Um, this was kind of awkward spot. I had six gold left, so I just decided to take a can and buy the Blobfish. Could always go for level two Blobfish to get the early tier five, and then hopefully it's something good so I can immediately make it level two with the Blobfish. Also, you don't want to underestimate the Blobfish-Clownfish uh, combo, because it's going to make the Hatching Chick level two. Oh wait, this is terribly positioned. What am I thinking? I want to put the Clownfish before it, so when the, yeah, I leveled up the Hatching Tick level 2, and it would get plus 4, plus 4 in battle, which is amazing. Just really awful trades. Honestly, lost that round because of bad positioning, so that's my bad. That's a mistake that I at least pointed out, so you know, you don't have to point it out in the comments, but you probably can anyway. Honestly, I don't mind. It's probably good for, like, the YouTube algorithm to point out all my mistakes. Maybe that's the secret. Maybe I should start, like, making obvious mistakes on purpose, and then people will just be like screaming at me in the comments and be like uh, boosting the algorithm. There's some big brain strats right there. Anyway, I, yeah, I think you can tell from the mouse cursor that I just realized that this positioning is terrible. But that is a massive marmoset. I don't know if I'm getting past that. Um, what? Okay, no, just kidding. They had a 1-9 penguin. Did I see that right? How does that happen? Okay, I see double can in the shop. I know I'm pivoting to summons which means cans are usually a great buy on turn 7, 8. On turn 9, I usually try to look for turkey, but like turkey is not as good as it was, so not really a necessity. But uh, I, I don't know. I tried out quite a few random teams with these summons. I've done quite a few already with like, I think the best summon to have if you're just looking for a best like summon team, 
I keep saying the word summon, but you know that's a, that's a big part of summons, I guess, is to probably go with Eagle. I think Eagle's just overall the best. And uh, Turkey's not bad, but Shark is also maybe even better for tempo options. I think most people prefer Shark over Turkey nowadays, but Turkey still can give in-game buffs, and it's not bad. Um, like, if they have a uh, Hippo or something, you're kind of going to lose when you have the Shark team, but maybe you can kill the Hippo with a good enough Turkey team. Like, we're getting plus 4, plus 6. That is certainly not bad. All right. So that Blobfish pill onto the Turkey is now level 2. It's also got 1715 because of just the pure stats from the cans and the Turkey buffs and the Clownfish. Makes it all pretty nice, and it survives a Crocodile hit with a Pineapple. So that's always nice to be able to get out of croc range. The level up here is mostly just for the tier 6, because I don't know if the hatching chick's actually going to stick around for too long. But go ahead and chocolate the orca. So yeah, if you haven't guessed by the video thumbnail, I mean, I'm sure you can tell, because like you obviously look at the thumbnail before you click on the video, but this is mostly going to be a tapir and orca run. So the tapir was changed a while back. It used to just summon whatever's in the back so you could put it anywhere but nowadays if you put it in the second to last spot then it's going to summon whatever's in the last spot but like right now that could possibly be a turkey so i could just get rid of this turkey which spoiler alert i do and that way it's guaranteed to spawn like the orca or the anteater or whatever you want really i mean you can still force it to summon the things that you want anyway uh crow's good just to get this clownfish buff plus four plus four 2023 20, orca so you can see, cans, turkey, clownfish. This is how you get just beefy summon units. And this is a, this is an interesting team. Unfortunately, I was on nine wins, and I was really disappointed at that point, because I was like, I want to see this team pop off. So you know what? Let's throw. I, I mean, I have seven hearts. Why not at least throw one round? I think it will be worth it just to be able to set up this tape here next turn. So the parrot's doing nothing, mammoth in the back. Funny enough, they had a tiger croc, so it actually killed the mammoth and still buff buffed my team. But here you see the power of the orca, just spawning so many things. And then it spawns an eagle, which spawns a flamingo, and it's a draw. Oh my god, dude. I almost won that on accident because of stupid summon RNG. It's just, it's so stupid, isn't it? I mean, look at that. How, if you lose to something like that, you gotta be so mad. But anyway... Yeah, so decided to take another tapir. Tapir cannot summon another tapir, which means that the tapir in the third spot is going to spawn an orca no matter what. And of course, it's going to spawn another tapir, which is also going to spawn an orca. So you can see how out of control this gets as long as there's no summon team. Sadly, I run into a team with weakness, so we don't get to see its full potential, which I'm a little bit sad about. But you can kind of see the endless cycle that was appearing here, and then spawned two more things and there's 10 wins so a little disappointing that the game didn't go on for longer but still i think a good uh demonstration and maybe you try this out for yourself it's a lot of fun anyway thanks for watching see ya